Hey guys, in this video I'm going to unbox and review the TiVo Michelangelo 3D printer. This 3D printer was kindly sent to review from GearVest and you can find the link to the product page in the video description. The TiVo Michelangelo is a small desktop 3D printer. It comes really well packed with a very thick foam to ensure that nothing comes broken. Here's what comes inside the package. The printer comes fully assembled. All you need to do is screw 4 rubber feet under the printer and attach the dial knob to control the 3D printer. And it's ready. This 3D printer is an all-in-one piece. There's no loose power supply. Everything goes inside the aluminium box at the base of the printer. The printing volume is 150 by 150 by 150 mm, so it doesn't occupy much space. This printer has a full aluminium frame for more resistance and durability. It's very sturdy and all the materials feel really high quality. Additionally, it comes with a dual cooling fan system. You can print offline with a full-size SD card or via USB connect to your computer. There are some cons about this printer, but not real deal breakers. The 3D printer doesn't come with a spool holder. However, you can easily build your own spool or get one. I've 3D printed this spool holder and it works quite well. I'll leave a link of this design on Thingiverse below this video. Because this is a quite large part, it was printed using my other 3D printer, the Creality 3D CR10. Another con of this printer is that it doesn't come with a heated bed, so you might experience some issues when it comes to plate adhesion and get some warping defects. However, there are some ways to increase build plate adhesion. For example, you can use painter's tape and glue or add a raft to the print, as it allows printed objects to stick to the platform better. Due to the lack of a knitted bed, the recommended printing materials are only PLA and TPU filament. After getting the printer out of the box and following the fine tuning and the build plate adjusting instructions on the assembly manual, I've started printing some parts. Here are some of the parts. I provide links to all the designs in the blog post. In our opinion, the printings came out really good aside from small defects in some situations. As mentioned previously, with this printer you definitely need to use some methods to increase plate adhesion. For example, I've 3D printed an holder for a LiPo battery. This is the result when nothing was added to the build plate. You can clearly see the warping effect. And this is the result using painter's tape and glue on the bed. You can no longer see the warping effect. Note that I'm using the Slicer Simple Mode print settings for PLA. Changing some of those settings might improve your printings. Additionally, I could have gotten better prints if my filaments were properly stored. Moisture in your filaments can ruin your prints and you'll end up getting bad results. To wrap up, I'm really impressed with this 3D printer. It comes in an all-in-one piece and it's small, so it can fit nicely in a small workbench. Additionally, it comes fully assembled, so you don't have to struggle looking for instructions. All the materials are really high quality and the printings are really good. In my opinion, this is an incredibly good 3D printer given its price and suitable for beginners. At the time of this review, the TiVo Michelangelo 3D printer is being sold at GearBest for approximately $200. You can find the link to the product page below this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.